Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about HobbySpot. We will see all the API integration and uh, you can go to the official page of HobbySpot through this URL. You can clearly see HobbySpot.com and before doing anything, you must have to know about the term HobbySpot. So what is HobbySpot? And uh, in this page, you can clearly see the definition of HobbySpot. So, HobbySpot is a CRM platform, customer relationship management platform with all the software integrations and resources you need to connect marketing, sales, content management and customer service. So you don't need to go anywhere. You can get all the services in single platform. So this is HobbySpot. Each product in the platform is powerful on its own, but the real magic happens when you use them together. So we'll use them. So you don't need to worry about this. Without any delay, I would like to start my free project. And if you are doing this first time, uh, it will ask you uh, your company name field. So you need to provide that information and you will be redirecting to this page. Okay. And also, uh, I have prepared document for you. I will save this document uh, in the video description. And it will cover everything about API integration, about private app, everything. So I will share this document to you and we will cover this everything in this video. And also I will use Postman to test uh, all the API. Uh, if you see here in this hobby sport, we have a contact inf information. You can clearly see uh, this is the, this two is the default information. When you sign in for the first time, uh, it will get, uh it will provide you some uh, default information and if you see here in sales you can have deals information and we'll go step by step so first of all i would like to go to these settings and you must have your ss token so that you can uh, communicate with this uh, application and for this if you go to like if i go here integration and if i click on this api keys now you see private apps are replacing API keys. So now you don't need to use API keys, but you have to make create your private apps and from that you will get your SS token. And how to create private apps? So you can click on this button, this menu and uh, here uh, I would like to create a new app. So create a private app. And here you can uh, give any name you like, like uh, I would like to give my app. Okay. And uh, this scopes is also important. You can set permission from here. Like uh, if you see here, CMS, CRM, Customer Relationship Management. And uh, if you click on this, uh, you will give uh, read permission to all the company's object. And if you give, if you read here, you will give a read and write permission to all the contacts object. And uh, if you see here, if I click on these deals, it will it will give all the permission to schemas regarding deals. Okay, you need to set permission from this scopes. And now you can click on this create a button. Continue creating. You can clearly see you will get SS token here. Uh, you can copy this token. And now you have your SS token and you have successfully created your private app. Now using this SS token, you can communicate with this uh, application means so you can get this data like I have already shown you a contact information. You can uh, paste this data. So first of all, moving to this documentation. So I have covered this private apps. Uh, you need to create private apps and it will uh, give you SS token and using this SS token, uh, it will act as an authorization key to test your application to send the, any request. Okay and defining scopes. Yes, we have already defined the scopes. We have defined scopes to contact and deals. So using this SS token, you will you have only permission to get contact and deal information, not others. Okay. And so, yes, we have selected these contacts and deals. And now we will start uh, our API testing. So first of all, we have get request. So this is get request and this is the endpoint to get your contact details. Okay. And you must have SS token to send this request. 
so in this authorization or in this headers i have to say authorization key and i have to pass bearer and your token i have set variable for this and to set variable you can click on this your call your collection and here you can see i have set variables for this and uh, i need to paste my token here and now i can close this now to send the get request we must have a token so we can use bearer token as an authorization key and this is the endpoint to send get request now i will click on this button you can clearly see so maria bn and omit if you see on this uh, contact omit brian and maria so it successfully fetched this data okay and you can also add a new contact uh, to add a new contact uh, you can uh, you must have this token so you don't need to change this token in all this request you can easily create a variable and you can use like this way and this is the endpoint to create a new contact details and you must have to provide body okay so you must have uh, your email first name and last name now i can click on this send button 201 created so so it successfully created contact details and now if i refresh this page okay let me again refresh this page it may take some time okay uh, the new details is added successfully and uh, to delete a request like uh, if i see here if i click on this data id is 251 see so we can use this id to delete this data now i can provide this id here and i can click on send button so 200 for no content now if we see in this page let me go to back so the data is successfully deleted in the same way we can also edit a contact like uh, if i click on this data id is 151 so we have to provide id here and uh, suppose uh, for now i would like to write instead of omit i would like to write like issure and also issure i would like to change email and post name and now if i click on send button okay the data is successfully updated and now if i click on this refresh button see the data is successfully updated and the get individual contact so if you want to get all contacts you can use this endpoint and uh, and if you want to fetch only one contact details you can pass id here so this is very easy so uh, 151 i have id 151 so i need to pass this id and i can click on send button okay and get all deals so this is all about contacts now you can now you have also defined the uh, deals as a scope so you can get uh, you have permission to uh, get this data regarding deals now to get the deals detail you can uh, use this endpoint and you can click on send button so i have only one data in this deals so if i go to this deals yes i have only one deal in information and get skills from this now one more important thing like uh, uh, if i go to let me delete this deals first i would like to delete this data okay uh, let me create first deals so deal name suppose my deal and amount suppose 2000 okay and uh, okay i can create this deal so my deals is successfully created now if you see here you have uh, amount close date created date deal name deal stage so you have this uh, properties what if you want to create new property you can also do this if i go to this deal information i can click on this view all properties and here manage properties and see you can create new property by your own choice 
So here, suppose uh, I would like to create a skill. And I have to select group, suppose uh, deal information. And next. Skill, suppose uh, I would like to create a fill type drop down. Drop down select, okay. And first, suppose react. React and uh, another suppose Python, Python and suppose JavaScript. Great. So I have created new property with the drop down option is React, Python, and JavaScript. Now I would like to add that property to that deal information. So let me go to that deal information. Here. You can clearly see we have successfully created each skills property and now suppose i would like to add javascript and save so we have successfully added the new property for this deal information and now if i send this request again so there is no any skills details right i have just created a skills property but uh, we are not able to see that property here so actually it just has your default property here. If you want to fetch uh, skills, you have to send another request. You have to pass properties as skills in your query params. So now if I send this request, now it is showing skill property. So you need to pass this properties equal skills in your URL. Okay. Now next one, you can also get multiple properties at once, like uh, if you pass skill and amount, you want to see skill and amount. So you will see skill and also it will uh, fetch your amount. Okay. And you can also click on get all the properties available. You can also see all the properties that is available. So like if you go here uh, for this group, if you say days to close, and uh, name you can catch in name amount in home currency so these all are the property so this is just extra things you can explore this by yourself and the next important uh, point you can also filter the data like uh, i would like to filter amount if the value is 2000 okay i can send this request it will uh, fetch this information where amount equals 2000 if i write here 1000 and if I send this request, see, reals equals MPT. So there is no any uh, deal information that amount equals 1000. So you can also filter this data. Okay. And now if I go to our documentation, so we have covered private apps, scopes, and the API integration. Okay. We have uh, sent get request and we have get all the records. And uh, yes, we have seen post request, patch request, delete request, and uh, we have seen all the deals information. And uh, we have seen how can we create new property. And we have also seen how can we get skills from the deals. We have also seen how can we get multiple properties. And also we have seen how can we filter data, but how to filter data by date. So this is one task you have to explore this by yourself and i have also provide documentation for you so here you can clearly see filter the data by created date so this is the in point and uh, uh, you can uh, as a body you can pass this information where you can write uh, your required date should be between uh, this value and this value and this is in time stamps if you use uh, some programming language you can uh, get this time stamps uh, easily but uh, if we are not programmer, you can use online uh, tools like uh, I have provided one for you. So epochconvert.com. You can use these uh, online tools to convert your date into timestamps and you can use their timestamps here. Okay. So this is the screenshot for that uh, application. So you need to provide your date and it will give you uh, time in milliseconds. Okay. And you will get response like this. This is all about hobby sport and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Uh, I hope you like this video and uh, 
please subscribe my channel IG Tech Team and I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.